On a cold Christmas night, the wind whispered through the barren trees, carrying with it an eerie sense of foreboding. The small town of Everwood was blanketed in a thick layer of snow, the streets deserted as everyone gathered in the warmth of their homes. However, one house stood alone on the outskirts of town, shrouded in darkness. The McAllister Mansion, a dilapidated Victorian relic, loomed over the landscape like a specter of the past. Its windows were broken, and the skeletal branches of long-dead shrubs scratched at the peeling paint. Legend had it that the McAllister family had vanished without a trace on a Christmas night many decades ago, leaving the mansion to crumble in solitude. As midnight approached, a group of daring teenagers from Everwood High, fueled by the thrill of the unknown, gathered at the entrance of the McAllister estate. The leader of the group, Jake, was determined to uncover the mysteries hidden within its decaying walls. Ignoring the warnings of the townsfolk, the teenagers stepped into the mansion, their flashlights cutting through the oppressive darkness. The air inside was frigid, and their breath hung in front of them like spectral apparitions. As they ventured deeper, the creaking floorboards seemed to echo with the ghostly whispers of the past. In the grand hall, a dilapidated Christmas tree stood adorned with faded ornaments, a haunting reminder of festivities long forgotten. The flickering candles cast eerie shadows on the walls, and the group couldn't shake the feeling that they were being watched. As they explored the upper floors, strange occurrences intensified. Doors slammed shut on their own, and icy drafts whispered through the empty halls. Each step echoed like a heartbeat in the silent mansion. In a forgotten nursery, a broken music box suddenly sprang to life, playing a haunting melody that sent shivers down their spines. Amidst the tension, they stumbled upon a room that seemed frozen in time. A festive table was set with cobweb-covered dishes, as though the McAllister family had vanished mid-celebration. In the dim light, the group could almost make out the remnants of a Christmas feast, now petrified with age. As the clock struck midnight, a chilling wind swept through the mansion, extinguishing their flashlights. Panic set in as shadows danced across the walls, and the temperature plummeted. The teenagers felt a presence, an otherworldly force that seemed to beckon them further into the mansion. In the attic, a room sealed off by layers of dust and neglect revealed a collection of old photographs. Faces stared back at them, the McAllister family frozen in time. Among the portraits, a faded image caught their attention, a young girl with piercing eyes, holding a doll that seemed to share her haunting gaze. The atmosphere grew thick with sorrow as a disembodied voice echoed through the attic, recounting the tragic tale of the McAllister family's disappearance. The girl, Abigail, had been a talented musician, and her music box had played the same haunting melody that now filled the air. Suddenly, the temperature spiked, and the group felt an overwhelming sadness. As they turned to leave, they caught a glimpse of a ghostly figure, Abigail herself, surrounded by an ethereal glow. She reached out, and the room was filled with the bittersweet strains of her music box. The teenagers, now trembling with a mixture of fear and empathy, realized they had stumbled upon a Christmas tragedy that transcended time. As they left the mansion, they couldn't shake the feeling that Abigail's spirit lingered, her story forever etched into the haunted halls of the McAllister mansion. And so, as the first light of Christmas morning broke, the McAllister mansion stood silent once more, its secrets buried within its decaying walls, waiting for the next curious soul to uncover the ghostly echoes of a Christmas long past.